Joining us now is White House Press Secretary Robert Gibbs. Mr. Gibbs, good morning. Good morning, Harry. How are you? Why did it take so long to make this decision? Well, look, uh, Harry, I think what what's been done in this process is somewhat unprecedented on the issue of Afghanistan. I think everybody involved uh, really worked hard uh, with the president to make this policy uh, better than it would have been had we announced it after only a week. I think everybody involved made this policy uh, stronger, and mm. I think the American people can be proud of both the process and the decision that the president will announce tonight. But the numbers are pretty close to what General McChrystal asked for in the first place, the difference hopefully being made up by people from NATO. France, for instance, has already said no. Uh, well, look, this is going to be an international effort. This is not one country or one region of the world's problems. Uh, but, Harry, what's important is not just the number of men and women uh, that the president might order to Afghanistan. It's what their mission is. Mm -hmm. We're going to accelerate... Uh, going after al-Qaeda and its extremist allies. We're going to accelerate the training of an Afghan national security force, uh, a police and an army, mm -hmm. uh, because we want to, as quickly as possible, transition uh, the security uh, of the Afghan people over to those national security forces right. in Afghanistan. This can't be nation building. It can't be an open-ended forever commitment uh, and I think that's what the president will outline. Tonight. On those two issues, though, so to make Afghanistan a safer place for somebody like Ahmed Karzai on one hand, and Al Qaeda really isn't that much of a presence in Afghanistan anymore anyhow, so why not chase them into Pakistan or why not chase them into the Horn of Africa? Well, look, uh, I think this administration has taken the fight to Al Qaeda unlike any that we've ever seen. I, I will tell you this, uh, what we want to do is ensure that the same people that plotted against us and attacked us on 9-11 mm -hmm. don't have a safe haven provided uh, by the Taliban in Afghanistan to sit and plot like they did on, on September 11th. This president won't stand for that. We'll announce a strategy that accelerates taking right. the fight to Al Qaeda. Uh, and I think the American people will be proud of it. Very quickly and shifting gears, is anybody from the White House going to be fired for the state dinner fiasco last week? Harry, the president is rightly concerned the Secret Service, which uh, provide uh, safety and security uh, that the president is enormously grateful for. Uh, everybody is concerned about this process. Mm -hmm. We're reviewing our internal procedures. As you know, the Secret Service is looking at what happened to allow somebody onto this complex. This White House will do anything that needs to happen to ensure that both the president and his family are safe and secure, but also that anybody that comes into this complex for an event enjoys that same safety and security. Is that a yes or a no? Well, uh, Harry, I, I don't want to get ahead of what okay. any of these investigations right. will look at. I think it's important that the president ask the Secret Service to look into this. The Secret Service also was concerned, uh, and we'll have answers shortly.